Welcome to the SolidCam Professor video series called Jumpstart, the easy way to get started with SolidCam. In this video, we will be going through part four of our first lesson, where we will add a pocket operation to our CAM part, run through our workflow in the operation dialog, and simulate our tool path. Here we have our defined CAM part with a face milling and profile operation from the previous videos. Next, let's move on to milling this pocket. From the Solid Cam Manager, right-click Operations, Add Milling Operation, and select Pocket. When the Pocket Operation dialog appears, we'll see the workflow of setting up our current operation is very similar to the previous ones. Once again, click the New button to define our geometry. You'll notice the geometry selection process is very similar to that of Profile. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, I'll pick a single edge of the pocket and select Auto Constant Z on the left to close the chain, and I'll click Yes to accept the selection. Our toolpath will work inside this geometry. I'll click OK to accept and display the operation dialog. Next, we'll need to select a tool by clicking on the tool branch. I'll click Select to bring up the tool table. Rather than add a tool, We'll use the already created tool from the previous profile operation by selecting it from the list. It's the 6mm diameter end mill and is listed as tool number 2. I'll click select to exit the tool table where we can move on to the levels branch of our operation dialog. I'll click on upper level and select the top face of the model in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. Then click OK to accept. Next I'll select pocket depth and pick the lower face of the pocket then click OK to accept the selection. We can leave the step down set to 3 mm, which is half the tool diameter. SolidCam automatically defaults to this value. In the Technology branch, we have several options for our toolpath. They are Hatch, Contour, Hatch plus Finish, or Plunging Pattern. By clicking one of these options, we get a visual representation of the toolpath strategy here in the lower left hand corner. For this exercise, we will leave it set to the default option, Contour. As we see under the Overlap section, our 6mm tool will overlap 50% of the tool diameter with each step over. Over in the Offsets area, we have the option of leaving extra material on the wall, island, and floor. We also have the option to do a finish pass on the wall, the floor, or both. We are going to leave the offsets at zero, and not perform any finish passes in our pocket. Next, and last on the tree, is the link branch. In the ramping area, we have several different options for how we'd like our tool to enter the pocket. When selecting an option from the drop-down menu, we can see them represented graphically in the lower left corner. Let's choose a helical entry from the list. Now, let's click Save and Calculate to add this pocket operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then, select Simulate to display the simulation dialog. As we single step through the simulation using the single step mode button in Solid Verify, we see the tool perform the helical entry followed by the pocket roughing toolpath. Since we left no extra material on the walls or floor, we will not see any finish passes in our simulation. Now, let's run through the simulation once more. First, let's slow the simulation speed down. Then, Press the play button. This time, let's stop it in the middle by pressing the pause button. If we want to start the simulation over from the beginning, simply select the clear button or navigate to the solid cam manager and click on the operation we are viewing. You'll see that the current state of simulation has been cleared in the SolidWorks graphics area. Now, we can press play again and you'll see that our simulation will start at the beginning. Also, we are not limited to only simulating one operation at a time. If we want to see all three operations, we can highlight them in the cam tree by selecting them. This will enable us to play the simulation for all operations. This time, let's press the Operation Step Mode button. Even with multiple operations selected, this button allows us to simulate through only one operation at a time. Clicking the button once will simulate through only our face milling operation and stop. Clicking it again will simulate only our profile operation and stop. And a third time will simulate our pocket operation and stop. 
Of course, if we click the play button with all three operations selected, it will simulate through all of the selected operations and come to an end. Let's close the simulation and pocket operation dialogs by selecting exit for both. Note that we can also access the simulation control panel externally from outside the operation dialogs. We can do that one of two ways. We can select one or all operations in the Solid Cam Manager by holding down the Shift key and then right clicking. Or we can simply right click on the operations folder. Either way we choose to do it, selecting Simulate will display the simulation dialog. Once again, let's exit the dialog and move back to our Solid Cam Manager on the left. I'd also like to point out another way to view our wireframe toolpaths now that we are finished with three operations. In the cam tree, let's check the box to the left of our operations folder. By doing so, we can now see the complete wireframe toolpaths for all operations. We can also view them individually by checking them off one at a time, like so. And this concludes part four of our first lesson in the Solid Cam Jumpstart series, where we've added a pocket operation to our cam part, ran through our workflow in the operation dialog, and simulated our toolpath. Thanks again for watching. Please join us for part five of our first lesson, where we will add a drilling operation to our cam part, again run through the operation dialog, simulate toolpath, and generate G-code.